हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी एंजो स्पम्स और फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स राइट सो वट एवर द फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स इट इज देयर इन टू दी अर्थ वाट इज देयर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स वाट आर द पार्ट्स दे कम्पोज एंड वाट इज देयर रोल इन टू दी लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम और इन टू दी प्लान किंगडम राइट सो सिंस इट इज देयर इन टू दी यूनिट वन लेट एस डिस्कस दैट इज द एंजो स्पम और इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स राइट सो दीज आर लार्जेस्ट ग्रुप ऑफ प्लान किंगडम राइट वट एवर द इन प्लान and kingdom whatever the different diversion it is there different category it is there in that these are the largest group this uh, flowering plants are the largest group in these seeds are enclosed inside the fruits what is the uh, feature we can say here the seeds whatever the seeds uh, it will be there inside the fruit say for example uh, mango uh, it will be there the seeds will be there inside the fruit in the same way then sporophylls are organized into flowers right so in the flowers are different parts uh, sporophylls uh, it will be there that will be organized that we are going to discuss right in detail so overall if you see that 300 families right so just imagine in one family there are lot of genus in lot of lot of species it is going to have so 300 families they are identified as a flowering plants and uh, here you can see 2 lakh and 50000 species different types of species which has been reported till now as a flowering plants right so let us discuss what are the characteristic features they are going to have so when we see the flowering plants they are herbaceous but shrubs and trees right say well you just keep it in your mind that mango tree right so mango is tree so herbaceous the herbs will be there right uh, but they are shrubs right uh, shrubs and a tree so in the same way they are not compact uh, when we see the animal bodies there will be complex uh, like liver uh, respiratory systems uh, digestive tract and uh, like that so they are not compact not complex uh, possesses hard covering cells right so into their cells whatever the plant cells they will be having a covering hard covering they are going to have into their cells then and also indefinite growth they can have right alter uh, as soon as they will get get the further uh, uh, platform they are going to have that further growth xylem and phloem facility for the circulations like we will be having like uh, artery and vein like that into the these plant there will be the xylem phloem for the transportation of the water and other nutrients no nervous system yes of course nervous system will not be there into the plants since it will be there into the different animals and the human beings right shoots perform photosynthesis that is the another feature whatever the photosynthesis they do for the manufacturing of carbohydrate for the food that will be performed by shoots that will be above the ground level or the aerial parts we can say shoots modify to perform sexual reproduction right so that's what these shoots it is going to modify naturally for the sexual reproduction that pollen grains the pollens uh, the pollination and the particular ovaries it will be transmitted by wind and uh, other insect to the other flower so that will be uh, done uh, naturally pollination they are going to have that's what that's what sexual reproduction they are going to have uh, then double fertilization also they are going to perform so these are the characteristic feature of the different flowering plants those who are from 2 lakh and 50000 species coming to the distribution where they are obtained right from where we will get so in the earth all type of climate and environment are suitable for the growth of flowering plants generally say for example cacti or cactus it will be develop into the desert right so whereas the uh, cascota that leaves in as a parasite right it's actually as a parasites into the other plants so they are also comes under the flowering plants see here the what are the complexity then welfia w a l w f i a welfia it is aquatic or aquatic means water ponds and lakes they are going to have like lotus and all those things right coming to the parts of flowering plants so uh, let us discuss what are the parts uh, there will be basically two category it has been divided root and shoot root means uh, it is below the soil surface underground okay whereas shoots 
it lies above the soil so whatever the uh, flowers leaves stems branches it will comes under the shoot right so basically uh, root stem and flower uh, we are trying to discuss here in the same video root we when we talk about into the flowering plant they are non green 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 color will not be there cylindrical yes of course most of the roots we can see it is in cylindrical shape whereas uh, develop form the pericycle covered by root cap will be there root cap that outermost layer right root hairs are unicellular that's the uh, feature of the root coming to the stem of the flowering plant no <coughs> they'll be having nodes and internodes <coughs> we can differentiate into the nodes and the internodes green in color or sometime brown when they are mature enough they will become brown we can see even in the mango tree also right so like the bears leaves they will be having leaves and the stem hairs are multicellular not unicellular root hairs are unicellular whereas stem hairs are multicellular coming to the flower also having different parts like calyx corolla then uh, estivation then gano and andro andro androsium right so these are the different parts of that's we are going to uh, discuss into the detail into the next video so this is the flowering part uh, different parts of the flowering plants uh, which they compose or distribution that will help you